The Mini PCR app makes programming and running your new Mini 8 quick and easy. Today, we'll go over how to program and run a new protocol to get you started with running a PCR. If you're using our Mini 16, we have a video with specifics for connecting and programming that device at the video linked in the card above and the description box down below. To set up your Mini 8, first, make sure that you have downloaded and installed the Mini PCR app. This is available at minipcr.com slash downloads. The Mini 8 is compatible with Windows, Macs, Chromebooks, and Android devices with an OTG adapter. Programming via Bluetooth is available on our Mini 16 thermal cycler. To connect your Mini 8, connect the USB cord to both the Mini 8 and your computer. You may leave the power in the off position while programming. When your Mini PCR is first connected, the LEDs on the thermal cycler should flash briefly. For more details, you can refer to the Mini 8 manual linked in the description for connection troubleshooting. The Mini 8 should now appear in the list of available devices. You can find this list by clicking on the Devices tab. On PC, Mac, or Chromebook, this tab is labeled Devices. On mobile, this tab is the small blue M at the top of the main menu. Once connected, the name of the device will turn green and the status will change from offline to connected. You can also change the name of each device for easier identification. Today, we will be demonstrating programming on a computer, but the interface is similar on mobile devices. To create a new program, return to the library tab and click the plus. For this demonstration, we will choose PCR to program a polymerase chain reaction. But first, we will quickly look at the other programming options, including heat block and linear ramp. The heat block option programs the machine to hold one temperature for a set period of time, while linear ramp programs the machine to start at one temperature and slowly ramp to a different temperature over a set period of time. To program a PCR, enter a name for your new protocol. You have the option to change the time and temperature for every step of the PCR, as well as the number of PCR cycles. The program you will use will depend on the experiment you are doing. For example, in this PCR program, we are going to set our annealing temperature to 55 degrees Celsius and change our extension step to 20 seconds and number of cycles to 25. Once you have completed your program, you may hit save to save the program or save and run to immediately load your new program on a Mini 8 that is connected via USB. You can load a program to a Mini 8 by USB even when the main power is off. Your Mini 8 thermal cycler will automatically start a preloaded program when it is turned on with the back switch. Additionally, you can start a Mini 8 thermal cycler with a preloaded program even when not connected via USB. If the power is already turned on when the program is loaded, the program will start automatically. It can be stopped or paused by using the app interface. You can also easily make edits to previously saved programs in the Mini PCR app. All you have to do is click on your protocol, click on the edit option, and change your desired parameters. Additionally, you can create a copy of a previously designed program and save it with new modifications. While the Mini 8 is running, you can monitor your reaction in the Now Running tab on a PC or Mac, or on the Monitor tab on mobile devices. Here, you will see basic information about your program, and a timer below the Run Progress bar will show you the remaining time left in your reaction. To better monitor your reaction, the temperature within your thermal cycler is graphed in real time, letting you follow temperature changes as they happen. Animations help illustrate the molecular processes going on in the reaction at each stage, helping users new to PCR conceptualize what is occurring in each tube in real time. And finally, a graph depicts the expected exponential amplification of DNA fragments over time. This is the power of the mini PCR thermal cycler in the classroom. Not only can students directly operate the machine, but fundamentals of biotechnology are reinforced through the app as students can follow along with molecular processes as they happen in real time. While your PCR is running, your mini 8 does not need to remain connected to your computer or mobile device. If disconnected, it will complete running the program. If reconnected, the app will automatically start recording the progress of your program again. If you need to pause your run for any reason, buttons at the top allow you to pause and restart a run as necessary. When your Mini 8 run is complete, the thermal cycler software will chime and the three red, yellow, and green lights on the Mini 8 will illuminate and stay illuminated. And that's it. 
we've tried to make programming and operating your new Mini 8 as easy as possible. You can stay tuned for some more advanced pro tips, or if you'd like more information on the learning labs that you can run with your new device, you can visit minipcr.com. If you would like to program several mini PCR thermal cyclers at once, simply connect the different machines to your computer or mobile device simultaneously. When you press run on the app, you will be prompted to choose which machines you would like to program. Select the machines you would like to use and press upload. The program will be uploaded to all of the devices simultaneously. You may also run and monitor different programs on different mini PCR thermal cyclers simultaneously. To do this, program each machine individually and run as normal, keeping all the devices connected. Each thermal cycler will be represented by a tab with the machine's name along the top of the app. To monitor different machines, simply select between the different tabs. The Mini PCR app has a number of additional menu options for advanced users. For more details, you can refer to the Mini PCR manual, but briefly. The Mini PCR app allows you to import or export your protocol library so that you can share protocols across multiple users or devices. Export run data will provide temperature data from the run in CSV format for post-run analysis. You may also select your preferred language. Finally, you can simplify the now running tab by choosing to hide the DNA count graph or the molecular animations.